Hi there, my name is Borhan Udin. Uh, my Fiverr account name is pages.com. Welcome to this exciting tutorial for Heather. Um, all right, uh, after logging to your uh, MailChimp account, all you need to do is simply click here on brand, then select on template. There you should have all of your saved email templates. All these three templates are actually drag and drop editable, absolutely customizable from start to end. Um, in order to edit the template, you need to simply click here or click on this blue, bluish icon. I mean text. It will take you to the template editing area right here. Everything is changeable as I said earlier. So all you need to do in which part you want to change, simply click on that, that part and then you will have some extra features to add or customize the, that, that part. All right. So right here you can see that here is your logo. Here, is, here are your social media icons and here is a short menu item for your website. All you need to do in order to change the text or anything, simply click here. Pencil on this pencil icon, it will come up. Uh, it will come up with this page. Right here, you can simply uh, edit anything, highlight and change the text that you want. On the next part, you can say this. This area is actually the header area. This area is pre-header area. On header, you simply click on this text area and highlight everything. Then uh, write down your headline over here. Simply, I'm writing like financial stability. Okay, um, by Heather. Okay, so everything is possible to customize and edit. All I I'm not saving this. All right and after customizing or editing the text or image simply click here on save and close so this part of this template is okay to go with next one is the button uh, there are two types of button if you click here you should notice that this button has some uh, extra you know options like here is the button text if you want to say right anything different than learn more simply visit our website okay so automatically this text will be changed and here you can also change the URL HTTP s www dot let's say fi financial I mean this is the website address simply copy this URL and insert right here then save and close so the button is already linked to your website if you want to link to any specific uh, human I mean uh, URL then you can also do that let me get the service page URL right here done uh, right button click then click the copy link address come over here change the URL right here save and close so if you wish to add your uh, email ID from here and, and want to change the wording just like this email me okay click this link to email address and then email address write down your email address from I just got the email ID from your contact page let me copy this and paste over here save and close so whenever people will will have this newsletter let me preview and show you how it will work and simply click here it will come up with the email sender right here the outlook is popped up on my computer okay it's completely mobile responsive so you don't have to worry about the image sizes or anything to make it compatible for your mobile devices simply change everything that you wish to change okay and let me edit this section 
I mean, if you want to change the background image of this uh, header area, you need to simply click the, uh, you know, style from the very beginning. You need to click, you will have two sections right here. Well, one is a block. These are the blocks that you can actually drag and drop over here and use it. Next one is a style. Right here, this is the page color. I'm just copying this code. Uh, copying this code so that I can remember it and you can simply click and change the color of the background of the email okay this is easy so you can simply change almost every part of the email this is the header you know the um, pre-header style area you can change the color and almost every part of the thing like if you want to change the you know the link style you should notice this is a link view on browser text is actually link you can simply click here and you should notice that the text is on bold now you can bold it you can underline it okay it's easy drag and drop process next one is header you should notice uh, i'm sorry header you should notice here is uh, an image that i have used for the background you can simply change the image click here and use any of your images for the background now the uh, background image is changed okay save let me change the page color it should be something like this so that the email is more visible for the viewer okay uh, for the text editing i would like i would request you simply click this uh, pencil icon and highlight the text and replace the text that you wish to change okay image part you need to click right here and you should notice that here is a uh, text which is called replace simply click here uh, select your image and insert if the proportion i mean the image size ratio is different then mailchimp will automatically ask you to change or fix the image ratio let me show you let me show you um let's say uh, this image um view details this one is different insert you should notice the proportions of this image different from the one next to it so let's fix it simply click here it will come up with the image editing uh, feature and a cropping frame over here uh, simply uh, uh, drag and position the crop area and then click on save it will be automatically fixed and uh, you should also notice that the background uh, I mean it has a border line if you want to change the background border color simply click on the style then change the color from here okay you should notice the color has been changed all right so if you do not want to change the color simply let it be as it is because i have selected this color from your website theme color okay and in order to change the text from here same thing all you need to do simply uh, click here highlight the text that you want to replace and insert your text make sure that it's um, the word count is same for the both of the columns for example if this column I mean column 2 has 200 words then make sure the column 1 also have 200 words for this column area it will remain it will you know keep the ratio of the template let me show you if I have more than uh, more words than the second column then it, it, it's showing like this it doesn't look better so it will be a little tricky okay and now here you should notice another button in order to change the text of this button you need to simply click right here and then at the bottom you should see here is the learn more which is the button text this is the learn more button you need to click here in order to activate the button area and replace 
the text right here and right here you should notice that here is a a is uh, a represents the anchor which is the link after that you should notice inside the inverted comma there is a link so in order to change the link you simply highlight this link and replace your um, original link that you want to use over here okay so in order to change the text of the this button you need to simply click here and then write down the button text that you wish to you have the name and right here you can change the button link all right so pretty much everything is uh, covered right here and all you need to do simply try to edit this uh, template for your own purpose if you face any kind of problem just simply let me know i will definitely love you to help more farther than this so i think this uh, short video tutorial will help you a lot i'm just copying one um, template for you know main template to use for okay this template will be uh, saved on your template section you don't need to use this template or that I mean uh, this is just for security it will work any one of these two newsletters so if the layout is broken then you can you you can simply replicate this template and use this for your purpose as well so uh thank you very much i'm really sorry that this job actually took too much time to complete but it's um it was quite uh challenging since the pop-up was not working as well as i found that the elementor um, block editor was not a premium so that i decided to buy something very special for you so that you can have a really really good experience on your website okay Thank you very much and please change all the passwords right now. Have a very nice day and stay safe at your home.